Welcome back to the vlog. Danielle and I are in Boston. We got in last night and we got coffee and bagels this morning. And we're gonna go to the market now, the Quincy Market. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a picnic. Go oh, shopping? No, we're gonna go shopping. Okay, here's what happened. Okay, yes. <gasps> we wanted, we wanted to go to the aquarium today. Particularly, I wanted to go to the aquarium. I want to go to the aquarium. Auburn also wants to go to the aquarium. Um, we looked at like how busy the aquarium is today. Oh, it has like never been busier. It looks like it looks but like it's like it looks like it's like close to the public because there's so many people in there. I don't think it's <laughs> close to the. I'm public, being dramatic. But where's the little? Where's the little like bar graph? Yeah. Um. Hello. <laughs> I think I did it on we maps. We think. We think that. There's like a Comic Con going on, like in Boston this weekend, which is great and super awesome for them, but impeding on our aquarium plans, unfortunately. Oh! 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 oh. Yeah. So, like, it yeah, gives yeah. you the bar graph. Oh, you gotta do the. Oh, oh, yeah. You gotta do the surroundings. <laughs> That's right now. So, <laughs> you're, we're, gonna, we're gonna steer clear, we think. And we think we're gonna go on Tuesday when everyone's like at work. Mm hmm. And, like, no one, like, during the day, Tuesday, when, like, no one can go. But and, yeah. school's out, so maybe that actually doesn't matter anymore. Mm, no. I think that that'll be good. I think a lot of it is the whatever Comic-Con thing. Yeah, which I'd love to figure out what's going on. I think we should crash. <laughs> I think we should dress up. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm really excited for this vlog because I have not been vlogging very well. I've been making videos, but... I haven't been talking in them, so. Whoops. And Danielle is oh, so good at. We're so ready. This is gonna be like the biggest vlog ever. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if this vlog isn't like an hour long, I'm gonna be then upset. We messed up. <laughs> okay, we got off the metro. We went the wrong way the first day. <laughs> but we figured it out. Yeah, we're fine. We're literally fine. So it's Lightning McQueen for obviously my Lightning McQueen Crocs. <laughs> and then I already have the Momo gibbet. I already have that one. So I also got this one. Oh, I got beautiful. Appa. <laughs> and so I got two gibbets. <laughs> I got a grilled chicken, Caesar wrap, and Danielle got, obviously, mac and cheese. <laughs> Is it good? Okay, we're back in the Airbnb. We, when was the last time I talked? Oh, when we went this morning? <laughs> like, earlier. Okay. So we took a walk, well no, we rode the metro, we went the wrong way the first time, so it took like 45 minutes, um, then we went to Quincy Market, loved it, there was an artisan market going on too, that was awesome, then we went to, what is it well, then we went by Harbor. the water, yeah. yeah, the harbor, that's what I, that was mm -hmm. I was thinking by the water, yeah, I was gonna say wharf, but I don't, is that a word? W H A R F. That's like a thing. Oh, I think. Okay. Okay. We went to Boston Harbor, and then we got a snack, and then we went home, and then we went back out. But while we were home, I wanted to see some of the pixels.
pictures we took and I left my SD card in the laptop. So then I brought my camera out and couldn't take any videos or pictures. So we went to, we went to what we thought was the bougie mall for a sec. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, there was a store there that was like 20% off if you pay more than $350. And I'm like, oh, this is the bougie mall. We found the actual bougie mall, mm -hmm. and we went to Louis Vuitton. <laughs> we went to Gucci. <laughs> we went. We went to Balenciaga. Auburn, out of all the I stores, I could not handle Balenciaga. Like I would have stomped around in those shoes. I would have. They look like tires. I could not. <laughs> Keep in mind, we're both <laughs> technically grad students, so we don't have the we no. don't have the income yet. We're not, we're not equipped. We're not mm -hmm. equipped for that. Mm -hmm. So we would trek on in, we'd say hi, we'd be so kind, and we'd walk around and leave. Like, mm -hmm. not, not even look like we were going to buy something. I didn't even really like anything. I mean, Dior was nice. Oh, I like Gucci. Gucci was nice. Yeah. But, like, I forgot we were What was our first one? Louis Vuitton. And, okay, when we walked into Louis Vuitton, when I tell you there was a jacket in there that was $6,000. Mm -hmm. Oh! And it was ugly. Yeah, it was even a nice jacket. Yeah. I wouldn't even expect to spend six hundred dollars no, on it. No. Anyways, then we walked to Newberry Street. Then we got our milkshakes. Oh, our milkshakes. We went to the Lint oh, store. Um, when did we go? What time was it? Like four. Four. Okay, Maybe seven five. o'clock. Maybe I five. am lactose intolerant. <laughs> Still no tummy issues. So, I don't want to jinx it. But the most delicious chocolate milkshake. What did you? Oh, I got a white chocolate strawberry milkshake. Mm. And like a, a flag about me is that I like oh, white flag. chocolate, whether that's red okay. or green. I don't think it would be red, but I don't. Is it beige? Think it would be. Yeah, I think it's beige. <laughs> okay. I think it's beige. Well, I got a white chocolate milkshake, and it was the correct choice. What strawberry? Yeah, there was like strawberry like puree, and then it was good. Mm -hmm. Where do we go? Then we went to the. What is the word? Apothecary? Yeah, didn't know what that was. I um, got this, I'll show okay, the Okay, we have to circle back to the Rewind. artisan market that she got a necklace in that I think she showed the vlog. I don't think I did. All right, so this is the necklace that Auburn got. Ta-da! So it's the little, okay, it's the little spiral from Fibonacci sequence, which is like a controls thing too, which is what I'm studying. So, mm -hmm. super cool. Super cool. Super, super cool. Then I got this. <laughs> you gotta do the influencer. Dude, I can't. Oh. But it works. Okay. It works. I think it might be backwards, but it says, I need a break. I got that for Alex, because I think she'll think it's silly. And then I don't think we're going to be able to see this very well. Ugh, no, because I have the plastic on. But basically... Oh, okay. So basically, it's in the same place that she got that necklace. I got, it's the chemical of estrogen because I didn't know which one I was going to get, but I always say that I love being a woman. So I got, I got the chemical compound of estrogen, which is just a bunch of hydrogens and carbons, but I like the shape of it. Okay, so my mom, so she has like a Pandora charm like bracelet, and every time... We go to a new city, she likes the charms, but she's been to Boston, but it was before she made the bracelet. So I went in and I called her because I wanted to make sure she wanted it. And I called her before I got it and I got like the Boston exclusive charm. That comes in such a cute little Oh, box. it's not gonna focus. Mm -mm. It's focusing on my hand. Oh, okay, well, whatever, the point is, displayed and it just has like the city skyline of Boston and it comes in a cute little box because I told them it was a gift so it has this little box and they put it they put it in this little bag it was I don't know it's kind of it's kind of sweet I think it's cool that like all Pandora stores have like a local exclusive charm at the thing we went we saw this so rewind back to our story we went to the apothecary I got, oh, I got this necklace. I didn't oh. show this yet. It's just a plain chain, like a gold chain, but I've been wanting a plain gold chain. And the the necklace I just showed you fits perfect, like in this little pocket I have in between my necklaces. But it's definitely like, 
I can wear all of, I wear these every day, these two, and I'll probably wear this every day. I take this big one off when I shower and when I go to yoga, so I'll probably do the same with this. The spiral is definitely like a special occasion. I, it's too big, like it gets stuck in, it just bothers me. And then we went to this cute little store. It was like giving the same vibes as Patagonia, I wanna say, but like smaller, which I like. Um, it's called Popo Designs. The guy said it's out of Colorado, but this is the first East Coast store that they have. And in a few weeks, I will be going to Romania. So I've been on the lookout for the perfect size personal item because all I have is a personal item and a carry-on. So I need to get almost exact to the dimensions so I can fit as much stuff as I can. Um, I'm studying abroad there for like three weeks. That'll be fun. But I found a bag there, but I'm gonna make Danielle oh. show hers yes. first. Yes. <laughs> we have to stay tuned because mm -hmm. no, like this was the biggest win I think we've it had. Was. Like this I store like 10, 10 out of 10. Yeah. I haven't, I don't know the durability of their clothes yet, but like the textures, the fit, the patterns. It's like it's like so good. It's so cute. And so while I was there, me so okay my mom's birthday is august 1st and my siblings birthday is august 8th and i also haven't gotten anything from for them for their birthday yet but they were just telling me like last week they were like i really want like a fanny pack like like crossbody bag and so i'm in this store and i see this fanny pack That's and it has like gorgeous. the straps on the back but i don't want to undo them and it's plain black because elliot elliot doesn't like very like colorful things like they they want this to match with everything. And so I got this for Elliot, which I think they're really gonna like. And I also sent them a picture of it before I bought it because I wanted to make sure they liked it because they usually like picking out their own, like, like especially like clothes and like accessories, they kind of like picking out themselves. And so I sent it to them and they seemed really excited about it. And so I got it. This is the back. <laughs> She's very cute. She's got like a little orange and like a purplish pink and blue. Lots of pockets. I haven't gone through and like discovered all the pockets yet, but like I really like the zipper. I don't know. Something about me is I really like sturdy zippers. And like, oh yeah, she's got a little clippies. Um, yeah, yeah. Because you were like so cute, like, like trekking around, like I was, with yeah. your backpack. Like, hey, first little, day of school. Like just do a little spin. <laughs> like look how cute that is. <laughs> and it's it's like one inch larger than Air France says you can take on your personal item, so I'm definitely gonna have to like not fill it all the way up, but that's fine. For reference, I was looking at 14 to 16 liter bags, because that's what fit in the dimensions, and this one's 20. So it's like perfect. And then they put all my things in here. So I got I got these shorts. These look cute. The lighting in here is definitely not the best, but that's okay. They're like a light blue. And they have these funky designs. And like a, a buckle for the clasp. I don't know. I like it. And so snap. The buckle is very, very cute. Zipper pocket. Oh, come on. Perfect. joggers but they definitely they're like a fit in between leggings and joggers but they're waterproof i went to montreal last week and we got stuck in a hailstorm and i want waterproof pants now so <laughs> i got ivan these shorts because he needs more shorts and i wish he could have gone to the store with us because i he think he would have really it. liked it so would hans and i honestly think we're gonna go back. I want to go back and get Han something there because it just screams Ivan and Han. <laughs> so like they're like Ivan will oh, wear those like mm -hmm. climbing. I feel like they he'll wear them work, outside. Also, he can literally fit them with whatever. Like those exactly. are so cute. And he better like them. I I think he's I gonna think like he's them. Gonna. There's no liner, which most of his shorts have liners, but it would still be good if he wore them. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to dinner. I don't know where we're gonna go. No, we have not decided. <laughs> And okay. What time is it? 
Did we tell the vlog what we got for dinner last night? No. You can tell them. I got raisin cane. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it. Oh my god. I never. had it when we went to Oregon for SAE, which hopefully by the time this vlog comes out. Oh. Not Oregon. Wisconsin. Last year. Hopefully when this vlog comes out, my SAE vlog will be figured out. But if you like fine. cars and engineering, you should join us. Okay, we opted for takeout. Mm -hmm. We both got a pad thai, which it looks scrumptious. I literally can't open it. I'm going to open this one. Whoever this is. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my god, that looks so good. And then these are yours. Oh, okay. I got fried dumplings. Yum, yum, yum. Can you see them there? Oh, they look scrumptious. Mm hmm. And then I got sticky rice and peanut sauce. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Actually, this, welcome us back to the vlog. Um, <laughs> today we're going to brunch reservation. So we have our cutesy little outfits on. I have a little dress. And Danielle has a uh, skirt and pink top. Mm -hmm. This is Auburn shirt. She lent it to me because it matches so well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where did you get your skirt? Oh. I thrifted this skirt. Mm-hmm. From Savers. Where'd you get your dress? Um, I got it at some cute little place in Montreal. It's very, very cute. And I got this in San Diego. Um, just because the straps are a little too I don't know. I like to love it. But we're gonna go some random ass wine bar. I don't know. We have high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And we just got too good to go for tonight from this cafe near us, so I'm so excited about that. Yeah. Okay. We're about to go back on the little the subway. The, the subway. And we got coffee this morning from the same place as yesterday. Because it's so good. Yes. Auburn got me a vanilla ice latte. And I got a lavender ice latte. Mm -hmm. And I had a bagel. Oh, and I had a blueberry muffin, and it was really good. It was really, really good. I like this place a lot. Yeah, this this was a win. Bye. officer who like launched himself down the thing and he like tumbles out. I don't know because you could like kind of see, see it the top over of there. It's blue. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You climb up those stairs and you go down and literally the cop like shoots out of the bottom and like skits across the <laughs> That's gonna be Danielle. So I'm gonna go on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danielle went down the slide. I <laughs> oh. oh man. Okay, so but but there's no stairs. It's a jungle. So you thing. have to like climb up these like ropes and shit. And I was like in my skirt. But it's okay because I teamed up with this like 14 year old girl and we went up together. Um, no one knew how old I was. I was the only adult in there. Don't even. Don't you worry. Oh, it was so it's worth okay. it. It was so worth it. I did not, I made sure I had my feet on the bottom the whole time because I didn't want to go too fast. <laughs> Please, if you haven't seen the video, I think the video is so important to the backstory. I'm not going to like put it in the video because it's not my video, oh, but man. I think just, it's very important. Just look up like Boston he shoots <laughs> out of there. Boston police officer on slide and it'll come up like don't even it's like the first thing that comes up. Oh man. Um, oh god. We went to lunch. Yeah. And what was your rating out of 10? Oh, like a 9 out of 10. It was pretty good. The wine was good. Although mm -hmm. I tried a flight that had whites and reds. She didn't like it. I don't like red wine. Mm -hmm. 
I tried it. I wanted to try it, and that was the whole point. I do like white, and I do like rosé. So I got a glass of the rosé as well. What was your opinion on yours? So I got two of the same one. Um, it was fantastic. A 10 out of 10. I liked that it was cold. Oh, yes. I yeah, like I like the red wine. I do not like... Warm. It was room temp. No, not allowed. I got cold wine, and it was sparkling wine. And it was white wine, which I didn't know that I liked. Because I don't really drink wine, but it was good. And the food was really good. Oh my god. Okay, Auburn didn't really like the chicken that much. The chicken was good. It was just oh. the cream sauce. Well, I liked it. It was good. And the fries were really good, and they gave you aioli, so like I could just dip it in the aioli. It was, mm -hmm. it was really yummy. We got truffle fries, and I have no idea what the chicken was called. I don't know. I couldn't tell you one ingredient in the, in the chicken, besides paprika, because we forgot to ask for it off. Let me... Huh. We gotta, we gotta be plugs here. Yeah, plug the place. It was good. It was like, really good. City Winery Boston Restaurant yeah. and Wine Bar, which it sounds like they have multiple locations. And the guy that was maybe the owner was like, yeah, he really was chatting kind. us up. <gasps> Danielle, okay. when we were walking, we were we were really early to our reservation, so we walked around a little bit, and then Danielle found a little gibbet in the street, and I think it's important to note. So it's a little. I can't even tell if it's focusing. I think it is. I think it's actually so clear what it is. But it's, it's a basketball hoop. And the Celtics are actually, I, so I cheered for basketball for like four years and I actually don't know what's going on in basketball no, right now. I don't either. But the Celtics, the Boston Celtics are doing like really good. Yeah, and they have like, I, they've won three games or something. something I don't know. Like that. I don't know. We asked the man, he explained it to us, but that was like three hours ago. Yeah, but I think it's ironic that she found a basketball charm mm -hmm. in the middle of a good basketball season for Boston. It's good luck. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go to the public market now and get me a snack because I didn't eat a lot of the chicken. Mm -mm. And I had a lot of wine. So. Yeah, Aubrey needs a little snack. And they have a bakery in there. Uh, they have like multiple bakeries. Yeah. They have a candle making spot. Did you I see saw that? that. And the painting spot. And the permanent jewelry. Dude, okay, here's my opinion. Maybe this is a hot take. I like the Boston public market way more than I like the Quincy market. Yeah, that's fair. The Quincy market, overhyped. The food was good, but expensive. Well, really expensive. And there was too many people. Maybe, like, it was crowded. Maybe it's because it was weekend. Maybe because it's summer. It's literally Sunday. It's literally Sunday and the public and market, the public is, not market is not crowded. <laughs> We got a two good to go. Okay, first we got we got canes again. again. And then we got a two good to go from this place called Jaho. Yeah. But look how cute the little the pink on it. How do people do this? Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful, gorgeous. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, you open it. This is our reveal. It cost us five dollars and thirty cents. Mm -hmm. Okay, first up. Oh, 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 they're all wrapped? No, no, oh, no, they're, they're not all wrapped. I don't know what this is, but it comes in another cute little packaging. All right, let's open it. She's looking like a chocolate croissant. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, so that's a win so far. That's like that's we've already really made up big dub. our $5, I feel like. Oh, so we actually just won. And do you want to know oh, what's in the rest of the what's bag? What's in the rest of the bag? Two plain bagels and two everything bagels. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's just bagels. You see them in there? I tried to show the camera everything in there. It's I literally like two plain bagels and two everything bagels. That's it. That's not exciting, but that's... No, like, but I'm not mad because... I'm not upset. Because we're, we were just talking about this earlier. We don't necessarily like surprise food. Mm -hmm. We we like to know what we're getting, but this was five dollars, so we were like, worst case, there's like one thing we yeah. eat, and it was gonna cost five dollars anyway. But this isn't. It's not special. It's not exciting. But you know what it is. Um, reliable. Reliable. We can eat it on the train as our mm -hmm. snacks. We can have a bagel whenever we want. Like. Oh no, I don't think we have a. We don't have a toaster, but we can have a bagel. I oh. just eat. I just eat plain bagels, just like raw, like that. I don't toast them sometimes. Huh? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> okay. So I eat bagel 
bagels just like this. I don't need a toaster. The only time I've eaten a bagel like straight out the go is when I, they're already cooked once. Uh, I know, I know. It's like bread. It is, but like I had it when Ivan worked at the bakery and there's like fresh, fresh, like fresh out the oven mm. bagels and those like melt in your hand because mm. they're so like, okay, but okay, teach, I, I'm teach not their gonna, own. Don't I'm not gonna yuck yum. your yum, and I'm sorry for no, it's okay. putting on a face that is No, yucky it's okay, yum. and it's because it's a little out of pocket. <laughs> it is a little out of pocket, I Yeah. Guess. But I actually eat bagels just like this. And the chocolate croissant is so good. I'm excited. to be like that because I don't want to mess with it but I didn't want to get a whole new like piece of jewelry when like I'm switching all of my like cartilage piercings to like rings anyway so what I did was I switched this one that's fully healed to a ring so that I could use Okay, so I accidentally, oh my god, it's a whole thing. I messed up the healing of my bottom one. I don't even know what I'm going to do to her. But I got a ring in this one so that I could move that one over to this ear. So now I have it in there. Super excited about it. Okay. <laughs> my turn. Um, I got my tattoo. <laughs> it's just a little pomegranate with, I, it's better like down. Like it doesn't stretch. But I really like the scientific notation. I have it on another tattoo. So like this is figure one A and B. And now I have figure two. So the next one I get will be figure three. We went to a bookstore. Oh. Do we want to show our book? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this book, um, which I'm reading, I'm trying to read this book right now. So this kind of builds off of it and it's pink. And it has really great like illustrations and stuff. With little excerpts. So maybe like giving coffee table vibes, but I kind of really like it. And then I got this book too. Which is more of like a legitimate book. But I think it builds off of this book that I also have and need to read or want to read. Um so after I finish this book, I will read the six pieces. I got this journal. It's just kind of, oh, they gave me a little, they gave me a bookmark. Dude, what the heck? Um, wait, it's kind of, they gave one. me one too? Yes. Oh, perfect. This is, this is the place we went. It was really cute. It had a cafe and stuff too. Um, but I got this, I guess, notebook. It's graph paper, and then there's, like, free space at the bottom. Um, and then I've been wanting to start, like, a tea journal, so I got this really pretty notebook. It's got, I really like birds. It's got a bird on it. Oh, I didn't realize that there's, like, a imprint, but... And it has, I don't know about the clasp, but she's cute. No, I like the clasp. Doesn't it give it, like, I think it gives it nice vibes, but I'm afraid if I'm putting stuff in it, kind of like a scrapbook, it's going to kind of defeat the purpose a little bit, but that's okay. And last but not least, to go with this, which I don't think I told you this, Daniel. The reason, you pointed this out, and I was like, okay, I'm getting it because then I can put them in the tea book, too. Because mm -hmm. oh. I got... A bird lover sticker book, and look how cute. There's there's a ton of them. Like they're all. Oh, and they're all stickers. Mhm. Mm Puffins? Are you kidding me? How you feel about? They're they're outlined. They're just really thin. Not like like 
that one you can kind of see it right there. Cool. Aren't they so cute? Look at the pop ones. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so for myself, I got this book um, because my favorite book, fun fact about me, is The Handmaid's Tale. And I really like Margaret Atwood as an author, and I've read a few of her other books, and I haven't like liked them as much as The Handmaid's Tale, but I know that this is like one of her best books, and so I got this because I have not been able to find it yet. Okay, so that's for me. Then I'm looking around, and we're in the children's section, because the science section is right next to it, and I see all the frog and toad books. So for Elliot, I got them a frog and toad book because they love frog and toad, and this is the one where like it ends with how it was the whole one where like i think it was frog wants to go on the island yeah frog wants alone time and toad like packs a whole lunch and goes and finds frog and is like i want you to hang out with me so you're not sad anymore and he was like well no i'm not sad i'm sitting alone because i'm just so happy about my life and happy that you're my friend and then it ends with this picture that's like they sit alone on the rock together. Oh my goodness. So I got that for Elliot. And then for my dad for Father's Day, we like as a family watched like all of the little videos from Shel Silverstein and like all of his poems. And like our favorite one is, it's called Backwards Bill. And he rides a horse backwards. Um, but I found this one and it's The Missing Piece. And we don't have the book of The Missing Piece at my house. We have like all of his other books, but this is the only one that we're missing. And so, I got this for my dad for Father's Day, which I think he'll really like. And so that's my book haul. We also went to Blank Street, which was my pick. Mm -hmm. And they had a really good coffee, so I got some beans to bring home because my coworkers, we like share coffee. And I think it's actually the most fun thing and makes the corporate hellscape a little bit better. <laughs> but this is what I picked. Um, we all like dark roasts. It says it has notes of pecan, semi-sweet chocolate, and baked plum. But the latte I had was delicious, so I trust. We went back to the store, like the outdoor store that we liked, because we decided that we wanted to get Hans something too. So me and Auburn picked up this like belt bag for Hans, and like, he really likes orange, so we got like this one, but we also think he really likes green too. And like we really liked these colors and we thought it looked good. This is the back. And so we got this for him because he always looks really cool and I think that this will mm -hmm. be this will it's gonna go with the fish. It's just gonna go with what he wears, like it. And then I got this for Alex, which I tried it when we went to the public market and it's really good, and Alex loves watermelon, so I thought it was fitting. And there's no cafes that are, like, open late? Mm -mm. Like, what's the deal? We walked past, like, two or three cafes that were open at, like, 9 o'clock at night. They were open until 11. That would be so helpful. Yeah. You would think in a college town, like, UB's pretty big, too. Yeah, literally, you would think, because, like, I understand that, like, Boston has a lot of colleges, and that's probably why, but, like, so does Buffalo. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? There's like eight colleges in Buffalo. Maybe it's because they have public transport too. Yeah, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. Um, today we're gonna go to the aquarium. That's the goal for today. Mm -hmm. And do other things, but we don't know what the other things are. We're gonna go get coffee. That's what we're gonna go do right now. We're going to like a horse themed, yeah. horse themed cafe. It's yeah. <laughs> Danielle's really excited. I'm really <laughs> excited about the horse cat in my house.
yummy. Yeah. Oh, how spectacular.